Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and you, the Bellamente y tu y yo. And you guys, you see all the Christmas balls on the table. Welcome to day three Vlogmas. Hey! All right, so today I need to be shuffling and moving some money around. I'm telling you guys, I've been making money moves behind the scenes and not updating the binders properly. And I'll explain all of that later. But yeah, if you wanna be involved in this little tiny cleanup is what I'm gonna call it, then let's get right into the video. The first thing we need to do now that we're here together is actually pick a winner from yesterday's video. All right, so let me get my computer and get that all set up. So now that the computer's all set up, we're gonna go right here to TubeBuddy and we're gonna click on pick a winner. Yesterday's um, secret word was, what was it? Wait a minute. It wasn't cheer. It was gifts. <laughs> Y'all, I never got the secret word myself. Okay, hold on. It was hashtag gifts. Okay, so, oh wait, that's not right. Hold on. Hashtag gifts. All right, so you had to put that into your comment section in order to possibly be chosen to win a $41 gift card. Come through, Siri. All right, let's see what it is. Who's gonna win a $41 gift card? The winner is Michelle Scram. Scram? Wait, Shram. Y'all, I'm not good at pronouncing names. We already know that. She said, hashtag gifts. I think you should sell it. Yours, I'm sure, is so different. They have different buyers than you do. Thank you so much, Michelle, for your comment. And girlfriend, you won $41. So reach out to me either on Instagram or on my email that's listed down below in the description. And yeah, I'll go ahead and get your gift card right over to you. Thank you so much for the comment. And honestly, I don't want to go any further without saying thank you all for all of your opinions, all of your love, all of your support, and just like encouraging words. You know what I mean? Even if it was something like maybe change it slightly, you guys did give me your advice with such beautiful grace and tact, and I appreciate everybody that actually commented. And I'm glad to hear that so many of you guys want me to sell the box, so just know it'll be coming soon. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about first... Um, what we're going to be doing today. So I have it, uh, my bills binder here and I spoke about in yesterday's video how I had the one month ahead binder or envelope. A one month ahead sinking fund is what that thing is called. What is going on with my terminology today? Hold on. Let me um, get it out of the right binder. All right, here we go. Here we go. So in my regular sinking funds binder, I do have, y'all excuse Somebody said string the Christmas balls together and they won't roll all over the place. And they ain't never lie. Cause last year I had them strung up on some metal wire and it was like one big chunk of ornaments I could just sit up here, you know? Now they're all loose cause I'm just too lazy. And I have yarn and string and wire. We're not gonna talk about my procrastination problems, okay? But I definitely need to string them because they're rolling and I'm just like, push them back, pull them forward. It's just too much. All right, so let's get to the right category. Let's start there. Uh, what was it? One month ahead? Life happens. I like that one. Sorry. Okay, one month ahead. Here we go. All right, so first of all, we're going to be taking this little envelope out of here because I'm going to try to work. Oh, wait, hold on. Mm. Whew, take on my little baby strength for that one. Okay, so I'm gonna try to work directly out of the bills binder for, you know, if I need some imp some money for one month ahead or whatever. So as far as this one month ahead folder, it did have a 1K placeholder and I did go to the bank and get that $1,000 and it also has an extra 65. So this will no longer be a category I will be stuffing. Bye-bye one month ahead. Instead, I'm focusing on getting three months ahead, y'all. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna be putting this money right here, 1,065 into my bills binder. But since I went and got the $1,000 out of the bank, let's go ahead and count that up first. Incomes cash tray. <laughs> Slide it on in. You guys, I forgot again to sing the um, 12 Days of Christmas entry. So hold on one second. Let's do that real quick. All right, what's the third day of Christmas? three French hens. Okay, here we go. This is the submission that you should sing with the title of your email being sent to this email address. 
okay? And in the title, say day three, if you want to sing day three. Y'all, I had Rosa come through with day one. Ugh. So cute. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. So yeah, I've had a couple of entries for day one. I have none for day two. Come on, you guys. Come on. We cannot be without a Christmas song at the end of these 12 days. So I need some submissions. Y'all get your little singing on. You don't have to do it all great. Just It's even funnier when it's just like you just being you. You know what I mean? So be you, okay? Do you, boo, as they say. All right. Um. So let's see. On the third day of Christmas, this is what you're going to sing with the submission under the title in the subject line, day three. You would sing, on the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens. And somebody else should be singing, two turtle doves. And somebody else should be singing, and a partridge in a pear tree. So we done made it all the way up to three. Y'all, I'm not going to sing that whole song like that. We're not going to do that. But I'm going to sing each clip each day. Okay. <laughs> so that's the submission for day three. Feel free to sing any parts of that. Title it. Send it to me. And that way I can, you know, splice it all together. But I need you guys' participation. Okay. So here we go. For the $1,000 placeholder, I went to the bank and got $1,000 out. And I got small bills because I don't know exactly what I need to put where. So I have 152, 53, 54, 50. Ugh. Did I do that? Did I do that to myself? Hold on. 152, 53, 54, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 80, 98, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 99, 950, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1,000 dollars. All right, so we're going to take this $1,000 bill then out. You're out. Exit the building. You're out. Okay. <laughs> So let me set it all up on the cash tray. So we have $1,065. What y'all think? Can we finish this binder? We only one and a half way there. So I don't think we can, but we're going to show enough, get as close as possible. Okay. So hold on. Let me put all this in here. Look, I had another 50. So I was like, oh, let me get an odd amount of 50s. And then here go a 50 on the table. And that just totally threw me completely off. All right, and all of these are fives. All right, $1,065 ready to go. And I also have some other changes to make to my um, savings challenge binder, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's start right here. First of all, I have a half of all of these. Remember? Remember? Okay, so. Hey, we can use a little ball to hold things up. All right, you guys, so I haven't done anything yet, but I'm thinking, I know I have about one and a half in every single envelope, so let's see what we need in order to get them all to double, okay? So that'll be 70 to get two months ahead, and then 200. I didn't do this lawn care at all, but let's go ahead and do two months worth, which will be 160. Line of credit, 65. Do, do, do. Water, 50. Stream, what did I have in here? I'm supposed to be having 230. What's in here? I keep, okay. 120, 40, 60, 70, 65, 70, 75, 175. Oh Lord, 175, 180. So that'll be $55. Okay, we up to 600. Okay, we could do, well, I think we got some room to move, y'all. Okay, and this one should be 350, and it has 50, 70, 90. 110, 130, 150, 160, 70, 80, 92, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 265, and it should have 350. Okay, where's my math game at? Hold on, we was at 600. I'm not gonna do that. 350 minus 265. Okay, $85. So we was at 600 plus 85. So that's 685. Well, okay, well, okay then. Well, okay then. Let me see. So that means if we have that amount and we take away... We have $380 extra. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do with that money? Okay. I think I got a plan. Let's go ahead and get all of these up to two months ahead. And then I'll use some of the other one month ahead money to put towards some savings challenges and hopefully get to completing those soon as well. All right. Let's move forward. Georgia Power is going to get $70. So this one should have exactly 280 by the time I get done with this program. All right, there's 152, 20, 40, 60, 80. 
Okay, that's good. We on we on a roll. We doing right. Things is working out. Uh, basic math skills is working. I only want to get three months ahead. So after this, I'm going to add them all up and see how much I need in order to get that extra month. There's one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86. So we need two more hundred, seven, eight. All right, there goes $800 for the phone bill, which is outlandish, but it is what it is, $800. Okay, next on the scene, lawn care. We're going to put 160, 51, 150, and we will be prepared for this lawn care when it's time to run back up. 160, that's two months ahead as well now. LLC, what I say? 65, 50, 65. See, when you got to start dividing numbers like 130, it's not so fun anymore. <laughs> what is the number I'm looking for? Okay, 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, 210. That's going to be 260. Hold on, did I leave something in there? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. 51, 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 40, 50, 55, 60, 260. A A whoa 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 A A A Hold on, Let me get this one in here. L O C. All right, water's up next. Water is supposed to get a 50. 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92. Ooh, okay, we getting somewhere. I'm feeling extra good about it. Stream. What did I say? See, I already forgot what I was supposed to be doing. I was supposed to get to 230. 1, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 175. Mm -mm. The way her mind worked, 175, I forgot. $55, okay. 20, 40, 50, 60, 80, 90, 95. Okay, let's go ahead and do this, this, this. What's the... Okay, I think I got it together. This should be 230. There's, oh, really? Okay, this should be 230. There's one, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 210, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ooh, okay. You know what? I could do math sometimes. Sometimes I could do math with a calculator. All right, next is uh, Comcast. It's showing sure I've got a whole bunch of 10s. Okay, I'm gonna make this, this is supposed to be 350. 50, 20, 40, 60, 81. Okay, so let's just put 200 more. 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83. Put all this in here. 50, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. nope. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 50. 350 for Comcast. So we are two months ahead on bills. Okay, I'm feeling good about this and all this belongs over here. All right, so I think, let me see how much one extra month will be because I'm gonna get that in before the end of this month. I'm not playing. She not playing no more. Now it's go time. 140, 480, 130, 100, 115, 175. $1,140. Okay, so I got to get $1,140 in here before the end of the month, and I should be able to do it. I have two more paychecks. This is a magic month for me, you guys. Somebody asked me, how do you actually budget for a magic month? And I'm about to show you. I'm going to make a video about that. But for right now, or like an extra paycheck in the month is what a magic month means. But for right now, I need $1,140. I should be able to do that by the end of the month with this magic month because I still have two more paydays left this month. Come on. We going to get this bills binder done. All right, so how much money do we have left? Should be 380, but it's a bunch of 10s, so let's just see. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 380. Y'all, the math is math in these days. I don't know what's happening, but I'm on a roll. I don't know if you feel the vibe. Wait, what color is the ring? Yep, blue. I knew it. I'm on a roll right now. Things is lining up. 
The universe is providing. All right, there we go. So that's $380. And what I was going to do with that is try to get some of these scratch-off challenges done because I'm ready to move on and move this money on back and get to out reallocating some things by the end of this month. Because you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, no, that's not going to happen because it's $350 right here alone. Well, we'll get one step closer to becoming done with these challenges so I can reallocate this money and reestablish my binders the way I want to. So hold on one second. Let me get a coin. All right, today I got my $2 peso. All right, let's see what we got. We'll put some over in here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. This card's almost done, right? And this card's almost done. Okay, let's do this card. Let's do this one first. Do you think we're gonna hit a scratch and double here or here? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he held, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's do this one. Ooh. 45 dollars. Okay, let me get a run in total. Let's keep a run in total over here. Forty-five, and then let's do. This one, I knew that was gonna be a skip or double. I think I'm gonna double whatever comes next because I'm going to another card. I don't wanna go on the opposite side. I wanna finish out this card. Let's try to finish this one. Hmm. This might be a skip or double too. Oh no, it's not. Okay, 25, so that's gonna be an extra 50. We up to 95, let's try this one. 40, not bad at all. Ooh, we back down to one of these being a skip or double. All right, let's try this one. Ooh, she's doing good. Okay, 15. We're up to 150. Let's do this one. I know this is skip or double, and we'll double something from the 350 side. Right. I knew that was a skip or double. So we this whole card. This whole card is complete. So we're done with that one. And one side of this one is complete. So when we finish this side, we get to reallocate this money. So let's find one more to double. How about this one? Oh. They're coming in hot. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that's another hundred. Okay, you're trying to take all my little money. Okay, so that's $250 that needs to go into this challenge, and we stop. No whammy, no whammy, stop. We stopping right here. And let's just hope I did all that right. I'll know in the replay. I'm going to get rid of these trackers because, y'all, I got a whole nother plan for that as well. Okay, so let's see. $250, $250, 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. Let me see how this going to go. Other than stretching out my, my um little envelope to death do us part. Jeez. Okay, there's 5, 6, 6, 57, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,000, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 1. So 1,101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1,109 dollars. Okay. I'm feeling good about that. Whenever I reallocate these funds, I'll be taking this $500 out of the bank as well. And now we only have this side of this card to get done so that we can go ahead and reallocate these funds as well. All right, last and final thing I need to do. Wait a minute, all this gotta go in here? Come on. Wait, hold on. Uh-uh, we need some uh, large bills for that. I'm gonna have to fix that one. All right, the next thing I need to do is I booked a vacation and I think I told you guys I had already booked some plans for spring break. Well, I had to make the final payment. And so that was $2,500 that I paid out of my account. And I need to reflect where that's coming from. 
Um, I did move $2,500 from my savings account, which means some of these placeholders are not correctly in here. I need to find $2,500 worth of placeholders to take out. That's basically how I'm going to be paying for that trip. I had already paid $750 previously, and I just took that directly out of the business account. But for the extra $2,500 was the final payment that I had to make. Then I need to take that out of, I took that out of my savings. And so I need to denote that by taking it out of some placeholders. So this is what I'm thinking. First, I'm going to take $1,000 out of home rentals because that $2,000 that's in the bank for that, I was going to apply towards my flooring, which I still have some time for that so I can recoup that, okay? And then the next thing I want to do is look at my travel fund. So hold on, we got to zero that one out. All right, and the travel fund, let's see, where is that at? Travel, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. All right, first of all, we're getting rid of these trackers so we can get rid of that. All right, travel, I have another 1,250. Doink, 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 doink. So I need another $250. And nothing's in travel, so there's that. Let me see, where else? I'm not taking it out of grocery sinking. Uh, let me see what I have in my savings challenge binder since I'm going to be redoing a lot of things anyway. Okay, 250 I could take it out of this scratch and save. I did have the winter challenge that I said I was going to take the money out of, but I don't know if that has a lot. Let me see. Oh, okay. Jack Potteroni. 175. I did say I was gonna take this out of here. So let's see, how much is that? 2,000, one, two, three, four, 25. So I still need 75 more dollars. Let's see, I think I'll take it from this front challenge because I haven't even been doing that little, it was for the large scratch and save challenge I've not been doing. So I'm gonna take 100 out and put 25 in. And when I go to reallocate this binder, I will figure out, you know, what to do with this cash. But for right now, it still has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. Okay, $70 in there. Y'all, sometimes you gotta pay for stuff well in advance and you gotta figure out where to get it from. And it's sitting in my savings, but I mean, my savings is allocated towards these placeholders that I have in here. So I don't wanna be taking out large amounts and do I consider it an emergency? Like in my mental mind, an emergency fund is an emergency fund. I could have took it from Life Happens, but this is kind of like extra as the winter challenge was specifically for a vacation. So we're going to do it like that. And I can get that $1,000 back in home rentals before it's time for the flooring because this $2,000 already came out of the bank. So that, yet again, bye-bye. And this money needs to go back to the bank. So this is one, two, three, four, four, fifty, five hundred dollars. And I'll put this into my savings. So let's go ahead and put this in the deposit envelope. So I won't forget to deposit that. There's another envelope that I need to do as well. I forgot I cash apped my giving fund. Cash apped $120. And I thought that's what I put in here. I knew I was giving it to someone. Right. I cash apped them $120 today. So that actually needs to be deposited in the bank as well um, to cover that cash app. Okay, so that's 51,120. Y'all, I hope I'm not confusing you. I'm trying not to confuse myself. 500 of this goes back to my savings account, so that means only 2,000 was spent for the cruise, of which I got it out of the travel fund and a little bit out of home renovation. So I'm gonna owe home renovations another $1,000. Um, and then the other money for giving, which was $120 that I zelled someone or cash apped, um, I need to take that to the bank as well. So I just added that to my little cash binder so I can make sure I get that to the bank. Last but not least, we have a little bit left over from the one month ahead, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 130. And I'm gonna put this into my daughter's graduation binder. And I wanted to be stuffing this directly out of my budgeting, but you know what? I'm gonna do what I gotta do to make it happen. So this will be $140 for this month so far. And when I reallocate some of those bills, I might catch up a few of these months just to get it out the way to make sure I'm on track. 
Um, and also put some more in December because 140 for the month is just not enough for what I have planned, you know? I'm trying to hit about 300 to 350 every month. So, I think that's everything, y'all. Wait, hold on. All right, for today's giveaway for Vlogmas, I left the giveaway all the way to the end of the video. And if you made it all the way to this part of the video, then you get a chance to enter. And I decided instead of asking Siri, I was going to pick a number between 5 and 30 for today's cash prize, okay? Hopefully we don't hit $5 because y'all know how I feel about those single digit numbers from yesterday's video. <laughs> all right, so all I need you guys to do, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, then you'll go ahead and comment this hashtag right here, hashtag made it. And if you put hashtag made it, then I know you made it all the way to the end of this video. You also can drop this one single emoji right here but it's not required for entry into the giveaway. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the prize is gonna be. I'm gonna scratch this one right here. Okay, that's totally doable. $30. So the giveaway will be $30 for today's video with the hashtag made it. And um, yeah, I think that's everything. All right, so we did all the things. I went ahead and gathered up the money for the travel that we're gonna be doing and took some placeholders out to represent what's actually in my savings account. I also reallocated some of the um, one month ahead money, both to my daughter's graduation binder, as well as to the bills binder. So now we're two months ahead. I got one more month to go and I think I can get there by the end of the month. Let's see. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video, which will be tomorrow because we still run in the 12 days of Vlogmas. This is day three. Also, um, hit the like button because it helps the video to be suggested to other people who might need the information. And then share the video with someone else if you think they might need some help kind of organizing what's going on. I do plan on putting out a few videos that are how-tos and that will kind of help people as they're first starting their journey. Because I know I've been getting a lot of questions like, what do you do with that extra check? Um, how do you budget for weekly? How do you get started? Things like that. So I'm going to put out some of those type of videos as well. So look forward to that. If you guys have any video suggestions of things you'd like to learn from me, please leave it down below in the comment section. I'll be more than glad to see if I can help. All right. I think that is everything for today. I appreciate you guys being here on day three of Vlogmas. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.